In this video, I refer to the two papers I had published in 2019 in the peer-reviewed journal Clinical Psychology Forum. The initial paper was invited by the editor of the journal, who had been following my work at GuyMcPherson.com. As a result, the paper was deemed the featured article for the May 2019 issue of Clinical Psychology Forum. It is available for everybody at the website of the journal and also at GuyMcPherson.com, beneath the Media tab and then beneath the Written Works tab. The second paper was published in the September 2019 issue of Clinical Psychology Forum, and it is available for a small fee from the journal's website. As with most peer-reviewed papers, most of the story of general interest is contained within the abstract of the paper. Here's the short abstract for the May 2019 paper titled, Becoming Hope-Free, Parallels Between Death of Individuals and Extinction of Homo Sapiens. Quote, the belief in a positive future, or hope, is not useful when presenting a person with a di terminal diagnosis. Wishful thinking is no route to recovery, and it might interfere with the ability of a person to complete relationships during their final days. Hospice is a particularly effective strategy for palliative, end-of-life care. Similarly, hospice is an obvious strategy to address the near-term demise of Homo sapiens. End quote. In this paper, I mentioned the ongoing rapid rate of environmental change and also the aerosol masking effect. I mentioned Professor Garrett Hardin, famous for his 1968 paper in Science, Tragedy of the Commons. Despite this 1968 paper in Science, Hardin was probably best known among ecologists for his often asked questions, and then what? With this question, Hardin asked us to pursue action only after evaluating the many likely outcomes of that action. In other words, Hardin was promoting the idea of thinking beyond the obvious and into the realm of complexity with his question, and then what? I concluded the paper with my customary advice for living during these tenuous times, and then pointing out that Earth is in the midst of the final stage of a terminal disease. The bottom line? Hope will neither slow nor stop human extinction. My follow-up paper in Clinical Psychology Forum was published in the journal's September 2019 issue. It was titled, Going Halfway, Climate Reports Ignore the Full Evidence and Therapists Ignore Grief Recovery. As with my May 2019 paper in the same journal, the September 2019 paper reported on the effects of a comparison. In the earlier paper, I compared palliative end-of-life care with an individual to the potential for planetary hospice for all of us. In this paper published four months later, I compared the therapy industry and its focus on grief with the corporate media, governments, and paid climate scientists reporting only a portion of the full evidence with respect to climate change. I pointed out that many members of the latter groups have joined therapists in going halfway with their work. As I mentioned last week via video in this space, some information about climate science has been deemed too important to report to the mass of humanity. Similarly, many therapists continue to work with their pay patients by keeping them immersed in grief. After all, a cured client has no reason to pay for continuing emotional assistance. There is a route to grief recovery, as I have mentioned before in this space. However, we need to employ honesty, respect, compassion, attention to aesthetics, forgiveness, and attention to a bucket list if we are to promote the idea of living fully and also recovering from grief. These behaviors are rare in this culture, including among people who are uninterested in grief or grief recovery. I concluded this paper with a plea for assistance. Here are the final three sentences. Quote, Living fully with gratitude seems reasonable in light of the terminal diagnosis each of us received at birth. Nonetheless, scaling up appropriate actions at the level of society remains a mystery to me. I call upon all readers to propose and discuss relevant actions in light of this great challenge before us. End quote. So far, my request has gone unanswered. As a result, I will adhere to my longtime message regarding how we live with integrity, with intention, with urgency, and with gratitude. I recommend living where one feels most alive, and also where one feels most useful. I recommend the pursuit of excellence and the pursuit of love. 
If you made it this far into this video, you're probably wondering about the title. It's all about the money. Actually, the title more accurately could read, It's all about the privileges, including the privileges money can bring. But that's a long title for a short video. In this space, I have frequently referred to the written words of John Kenneth Galbraith on page 22 of his 1977 book, The Age of Uncertainty. Quote, People of privilege will always risk their complete destruction rather than surrender any material part of their advantage. End quote. An important and relevant tidbit comes to me from a friend I've yet to meet. She knows and works with a few billionaires. She concurred with Galbraith when she told me the billionaire she knows will never support something as potentially useful as the mere reflection framework. She went on to tell me a story about a billionaire with whom she works. She works. When he gets flown in his private jet, he sends another of his private jets ahead as something of a scout. The lead jet is charged with identifying air pockets before the jet containing the billionaire will encounter such atmospheric inconveniences. In this way, the billionaire never has to worry about a rapid drop upsetting his stomach in flight. Apparently, the billionaire knows the old joke about falling from a great height. It's not the fall that kills you, it's a sudden stop at the bottom. It applies not just physically, but also to loss of your billions. Please like, subscribe, and share this video. Click the bell when you subscribe so you'll be notified about future videos. Become a member of this channel for additional perks at as little as 99 cents per month. Mostly though, thanks for watching.